Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of this Finnish Let's Play. In the last episodes, uh, we were we ended the last episodes um, just trying to quell, quell rebellions while we prepare to while we prepare ourselves to deal with the Soviets. So let's continue with that. I'm going to do something that some of you might not like, but I'm going to actually puppet the Rebel UK. The reason for that uh, is that they, for sure, they have paratroopers, and I want to build a few divisions of paratroopers, but I still don't have the, the tech. So, uh, since this is almost, um, you're almost in 1946, I don't want to waste time by researching that tech and then finally building the divisions. So, I'm taking advantage, advantage of puppeting the UK for that. So, let's go after the British, what's left of them anyway. So they're, they're, they're down to only one island, so this is not a major blow in uh, for Finland. We are still trying to bring all our troops from Quebec to Europe. There are lots of them there, lots of troops there. And we are almost uh, conquering the um, Ethiopians. This is why I put a mountain brigade in my divisions. They will at least perform uh, in a decent way in mountains. Time to launch our attack on the British. Yeah, militia can do a thing against uh, heavy armor. So the British will become our puppets. I've always mentioned that these are these anti-tank brigades improved the uh, artillery practical because that was useful for armor guns. But it's all useful for the light artillery that infantry uses, but not but it doesn't impact the technology so much like like it impacts the armor in armor it impacts 60 percent is improved by or or or, or improves or, or or takes more time to build depending on your practical by 60 percent while infantry is only um, sorry and while infantry is only 20 percent but still uh, I just wanted to say that it improves also the speed of uh, light of artillery. So in a couple of hours the British will be our puppets. Here it is. We can now buy license from them. Here are our power troopers. Hopefully they are not too, too much um, their weapons are still quite up to date. They, I believe they, they, they are level six. Let me see oh my, what's the level of my special forces. Yeah, it's level seven, so no problem there. 
and I'm actually gonna buy um, lots of uh, paratroopers well, I figured I'll need 14 divisions so I'm actually going to build buy lots of brigades Don't have the money for that. If the puppet rules are not, if the game is not bugged, this money will come back to me after I buy the the brigades. But sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Here we are. Let's hope they accept it. I don't have much more to do Yep, they have accepted it Which is cool I'm going to give priority to these brigades 75 clicks, anyone knows a better way to do this? So our puppets are coming through the to the path that we that our heavy armor conquered. Yeah, just a couple of days, and uh, and Ethiopia will cease to exist. Let's have a look at uh, research. We're researching um, ahead of time um, in in some areas because um, we don't have support weapons, support brigades. So I have to compensate it with uh, better weapons. to research these it's not mandatory but it will help in my in my opinion that is okay everything is cool I don't have many things to do I just have to wait um, for to build enough brigades to challenge the Soviets after that Let's see if I go after the um, these small countries first with my paratroopers or if I have enough divisions to defeat the Soviets first. We'll see. I, d I haven't decided yet. Okay, I'm gonna deal with these guys here. No need to bring the fleet. I have uh, special transport to do that. Probably here too, yeah. So the only majors in the world are the Soviet Union and Finland. Uh, the UK is considered a major no, ma no matter how small or big they are. Going to bring these divisions back to Europe.
as you can see I'm actually curious to see if the money comes back to me or not it should come back to me it didn't, okay like I said sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't okay I missed this my divisions arrived at Addis Abeba and the Ethiopians were conquered it's time to improve the infrastructure here that uh, blocks access from uh, North Africa to South Africa I'm actually going to improve it a, bit, a little bit more because if a revolt pops up here it will be enough to block the access to, to, my, to my capital This has the highest priority, of course, because we, with these, the, with these uh, infrastructures, once built, we will be able to um, take advantage, much mo more advantage, a better advantage of all the, especially leadership, I want more leadership, but um, we have um, more manpower, and so on so this will be a, a, an episode devoted to um, to waiting <laughs> to be able to challenge like I said to be able to challenge the the Soviets more leadership it's always useful Okay, I have uh, going to rebase these guys to deal with the other revolt. Lots of territory here. this will be a pretty boring episode the AI is wasting our IC yeah it's corrected now Going to save the game before I load those troops. Oops, not that. One more trip will be will be necessary. Let me see if I can bring a militia along. Nope. Okay, these guys are going to be deployed in the south I'm gonna look for more revolts everywhere it, that's green, it means that doesn't have a revolt risk this means that it's either it's either uh, it means that it, ha it has partisans in it or it's a s sovereign nation
Interesting, no reaction from the AI. Apparently. Nope, they are too far away, so that's all. Partisan here. Yeah, the AI is responding, that's cool, no need to worry. Okay, it's everything under control, no, no more revolts. Those are zero infra uh, provinces. Just fighting partisans. Well, I'm going to build a port here, level 10 port. Whatever, or, or whatever I'm able to build. I'm going to build an airbase also. Here I'm going to do the same. Probably don't have time to to reach level 10, but whatever what but whatever level they are able to reach will be good. Here we have a nice encirclement. We just have to strike this province, and they will lose a bunch of them, a bunch of divisions. Like I said, this this was a, this is a pretty boring episode. Every tank armor advanced. This is great. Our heavy armor is now up to date. Let me see how much time this now. It's not worth to research ahead of time. No way. It's a level seven tech, difficulty tech. So. It's, it's not worth it. The, and as always, from the st since the start of the game, we are struggling with officer ratio. Every tank advance, that's great. More firepower. Somehow, uh, my spies are uh, are holding in Russia. Let me see their national unity. Sixty-seven point nine. Great. I don't think that the Soviets will stand a chance against our divisions, but. I'll be prepared as m I'll be as much prepared as possible. Great text. 
fighter techs are all are up to date also let me see september of 36 might be worth it but no when research these Ok, I'm gonna send these brigades, these divisions, to there. Okay, so if I want to do an encirclement I have to take chances, I'm going to send brigade divisions here, they will be highly exposed also, but I believe our heavy armor, armor can withstand them. I'm going to send a third here. And I'm going to disband all the headquarters. I'm also go start. I'm going and un and assign all leaders. I'm going to build the rebuild the loop from scratch. I need to to know the um, what are my current leader skills. So if they are assigned to divisions, I won't be able to understand um, to know what's the current skill level, what's the highest skilled office leader and so on. More leadership to officers, great. And we have a whole bunch of heavy armor to deploy. Continue to deploy them until this front is has at least two or three heavy armors. Okay, let's bring these divisions here, one there, I want to keep at least uh, five under my, ma under my control, so I'll keep six of them. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
Okay, we've, we've reached the um, Great Army because we we have well, we have now over eight eight hundred brigades. Um, from my quick estimate, let me see how many divisions uh, uh, provinces are here. From my quick estimate, we need um, 150. We need uh, around 200 divisions. So a bit, a little bit less, maybe. Let me see how many armor brigades we have. We now have heavy armor. So still, we still have a long way to go. I need around 200 heavy armor brigades, more or less. we are building them fast okay let's bring the rest of the let's bring these guys to Quebec to bring the rest of our divisions to to Europe More heavy armor. If I was a Soviet right now, I would be. Would have lots of reasons to be concerned. Where this leadership came from? Let me see if the infrastructure has improved here. Not yet. It's okay. Uh, let's bring these divisions back to back to Europe. Keep researching it. It says I'm wasting leadership. It's not correct. If I take one, zero, just one, zero point zero one, the game say will say that I'm not wasting anything. I'm wasting. Okay, I'm gonna keep researching infantry ahead of time because it's a infantry support weapons because it's a level zero tech. More armor. Okay guys, I believe it's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed it and take care.